U.S. retail giant Guitar Center reportedly preparing to file for bankruptcy today. Oh, boy. Mm. Now, guys, I don't know about you, but if you've ever been into a Guitar Center, it is reasonably depressing. I don't know if it's the lighting or the uniform staff, but, man, it is tough. And big box shopping in general is really a huge pain in the ass. They didn't adapt to the fucking market, guys. They're going to lose yeah, out because I mean, of it. When you get when you can get everything on Sweetwater or New Egg or wherever, you know sure. what the fuck you need. What the fuck you need guitar God, center damn, for? Damn, that Sweetwater is pretty dope, right? Shit, man. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. a lot of good gear. Now, it doesn't just it's not just big box retail that's fallen victim to this. It happens on our digital platforms we use as well. Although that may mean some silver linings here and there. Since 2010, we've ended the year with Rewind. Look back at the year's most impactful creators, videos, and trends. Blah, blah, blah. Teal Deer. They're not fucking doing it this year, they guys. Doing it. Oh, God. They ain't doing it. Christ. Thank God. Those are the war. I hate those videos, man. They are terrible. They remind Fuck me of the you, kind Susan. of fucking highlight packages I used to have to cut out of 26 hours of footage of three day long Hindu weddings into five minutes of craziness. That's what those Criminy. videos remind me of. Good Lord, they're terrible. I was paid a lot more back then than I would be to watch anything on YouTube now. They're awful. They're awful. So I'm yeah, glad it's gone. real bad. Yeah, Plus, they never good. included Gulf City. <laughs> Ain't that the day, y'all? You know what? You're totally right. If there had been one clip of Gulf City in there, I'd been like, what are you talking about? Rewind is awesome, man. Rewinds the are the shit. best, bro. <laughs> Why can't they do one every month? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Some of these businesses are having problems out there. Some of them are failing. But some things are going to keep on fucking trucking, my friends. And one of them in particular we've talked about recently is my personal favorite game show you might have heard of called Jeopardy. Now, if you don't yes. know, my man. And Alex Trebek did finally pass here recently. F's in the chat for Trebek. He was the man. He was the fucking Damn, man. Yeah. But now we do need to look for a replacement for him, as I'm sure he would want, because the show must go on. We've talked about Ken Jennings a little bit recently as being a possible replacement, but there's another suggestion today. Fans call for LeVar Burton to become next Jeopardy host. I don't hate I it. Could see, I could see that. I, I yeah, man. Too. Uh, I don't yes, hate Lavar though. Burton, and, and that's uh, that's quite a career arc to go from reading Rainbow, to reading Jeopardy. Rainbow to Jeopardy. Yeah, that's not bad. <sighs> that's not bad. I'll tell you what: if Ken Jennings just wants to continue to be like a producer guy, he don't necessarily have host charisma. You know what I mean? That's true. That's what I, I was gonna say. Lavar Burton's been a host before. He yeah, can, for sure. He, can, he knows the, the showman, job. You know? He knows yeah. the job. Yeah, I don't know. That that's not a bad choice. Not a bad fucking choice. I'll tell you what, though, man. No matter who they pick, it's going to be real hard to replace Trebek. Video of Jeopardy host Alex Trebek cursing a blue streak goes viral. And I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> me and Phil tried to watch it on the page right here earlier. Video doesn't fucking work on, on the news. Those sons of like, bitches. God damn it. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Well, guess what, friends? Lucky for you. You watched the Fright Power Hour, and we got you right here. Let's hit it. So keep watching Jeopardy 24 hours a day and call this number. You yeah, dumb son of a bitch. You don't watch <laughs> it 24 hours a day. There's a you daily... know what? Fuck the bullshit, Phil. We should have all Alex Trebek notifications. That oh my should God. be yeah. the entire palette, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the best idea ever. All right. Let's Putting it on the list right now. Prize of $1,000 and fuck no shit. <laughs> Call now and play phone Jeopardy. She drank the poison that Captain Hook intended for Peter Pan. Tinkerbell! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh Tinkerbell! my god. Oh, Trebek. <laughs> so good. All right, let's go. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Trebek. Guys, Fuck if you em. haven't already, F's in the chat for Alex Trebek. I love Jeopardy, man. I really do. I would love How to go can you on not? that. I have no idea. I'd love to go on Jeopardy. I have no idea if I would have any chance of trying to win. You know what I mean? No mm -hmm. idea. But I'd love to try. Now, don't get me wrong. Part of it was I wanted to fucking meet Alex Trebek, dude. Yeah, uh, that sucks. You know what? I'd be down to meet LeVar Burton, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I feel the same way about uh, Wheel of Fortune. I would love to be on Wheel of Fortune. Meet uh, Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Well, you Pat would almost Vanna. certainly win. You would almost That's... certainly win. Oh, my God. Is it still <laughs> no Vanna White? Is it still Vanna White? Isn't she like oh, it's 70? Vanna. Oh, my God. Is Probably, she in a wheelchair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen an episode of Wheel of Fortune in a long time. I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. 
Can I just speak to you? I mean, really speak to you, like, like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for spying on women.